Hello, what's good, and welcome to CSC Sports. I'm your host, Jay Howard. I know you guys probably already heard that Phil Jackson's talking about making a return to the NBA. That's right. He wants to either coach or be a president or be behind the scenes of someone's franchise. And I want to ask you guys, where do you think is a good fit for Phil Jackson? Where will he go? We know that money is attached to this return. I don't care what nobody says. And it has, it's, a, it's love, too. You know, it's love for the game, missing the game, missing the ambiance of road trips and stuff like that, going to different arenas and just being a part of the NBA, having something to do. You understand what I'm saying? When I think of Phil Jackson, I think of 13 rings, I think of the Lakers, and I think of the Bulls, I think of Kobe Bryant, Shaq, Michael Jordan, Scottie Pippen. Who will be the new players that Phil Jackson will be possibly coaching? Let's look at a couple of factors and a couple of teams. When I think of Phil Jackson's return, I think about the LA Clippers. I think about the Brooklyn Nets. I was about to say New Jersey, but the Brooklyn Nets. And the reason I think Brooklyn is so attractive is because Brooklyn has a lot of pieces in place. They have a stud point guard in Williams, and they have a big man in Lopez already under contract. And they have a shooting guard in Joe Johnson, and they have Marshawn Brooks. They have a lot of pieces, but they need the coaching in direction. Now, I don't know if you guys knew this or not, but Gerald Wallace was complaining about he lost his confidence. You know what I mean? A couple of, about a month ago, he was talking about how his shot is not falling and he feels like every time he misses a shot, he's going to be snatched off the court. Well, when I think of Phil Jackson, Gerald Wallace is a Phil Jackson type player. He's like a Scottie Pippen-ish type guy, bringing the ball up, athletic sticks, hard defense. He's that type of guy. And Phil Jackson... To me, if he goes to New Jersey, he has the pieces in place. All he has to do is to coach, he has to coach it and make it cohesive. You understand what I'm saying? When I think about the Clippers, I think of one asset that Phil Jackson will love, and this is going to blow you guys' mind real talk, is DeAndre Jordan. Phil Jackson can do a lot with DeAndre Jordan. DeAndre Jordan has a nice half-court skill set. You can't see it because they run all the time. He's a lefty. In L.A., they run, run, run. They say, shut up and catch a alley -oop. Blake Griffin is someone who Phil Jackson can get a lot out of. He can transform Blake Griffin. And if Chris, Chris Paul decides to stay, that's another piece that he has that he can work with. But when I think about the two teams, I think New Jersey, I mean, Brooklyn is more attractive than L.A., in my opinion. So I want to know, where do you think Phil Jackson is going to go? Give me your team. And tell me everything you think Phil Jackson can, can do for that franchise. I'm your boy, Jay Howard. Peace. Until next time. And it's Brooklyn Nets, not New Jersey. It's going to take a long time to get that out of my head. Peace.